ever pondered about the paradoxes in life, the mind-bending contradictions that seem to permeate our existence? In our quest to understand the world around us, we often stumble upon paradoxes, phenomena that seem to defy logic or common sense, yet are inherent in our reality. A paradox is like a riddle wrapped in a mystery, a puzzle that challenges our understanding and sometimes our sanity. They are the enigmas of life, the questions that keep philosophers awake at night, the conundrums that baffle scientists, and the dilemmas that confound us all. Life, my friends, is full of such paradoxes. From the way we perceive time to the choices we make, from our pursuit of success to our quest for happiness, paradoxes are intricately woven into the fabric of our existence. They are the twist in the plot of our life stories, the unexpected turns on our journey, the surprises that keep us on our toes. What makes life's paradoxes so intriguing is their pervasive and universal nature. Regardless of who we are or where we come from, we all encounter these paradoxes at some point in our lives. They are the shared experiences that unite us as human beings, the common threads that bind our diverse narratives together. In this video, we are going to explore three of the most fascinating paradoxes of life. These are not just abstract philosophical concepts or theoretical riddles. No, these are real-life paradoxes that we grapple with on a daily basis. They are the paradoxes that shape our decisions, influence our behavior, and ultimately, determine our destiny. We'll delve into the paradox of choice, where having more options can lead to less satisfaction. We'll examine the paradox of success, where achieving our goals can sometimes leave us feeling emptier than before. And finally, we'll investigate the paradox of happiness, where our relentless pursuit of joy can often result in the exact opposite. Intrigued yet? Stay tuned as we dive deeper into three of the most fascinating paradoxes of life. Let's start with the paradox of choice, an interesting phenomenon that you might have experienced. Picture this. You're in a supermarket, standing before a wall of pasta sauces. There are 50 different brands, each one boasting unique flavors and ingredients. The variety is impressive, yet also overwhelming. This is a common scenario in our modern, consumer-driven society, and it's a perfect illustration of the paradox of choice. The paradox of choice was first introduced by American psychologist Barry Schwartz in the early 2000s. Schwartz observed that while choice is good for us, paradoxically, too much of it might actually be detrimental. His research revealed that having a multitude of options doesn't necessarily lead to satisfaction or happiness. In fact, it often leads to stress, anxiety, and dissatisfaction. You see, when we have too many choices, we tend to second-guess our decisions, constantly wondering if we've made the right one. In the case of the pasta sauces, for instance, you might find yourself worrying whether you've picked the best-tasting one, the healthiest one, or the best value for money. And even after you've made a choice, you might still be plagued by doubts, wondering if there was a better option out there that you missed out on. Moreover, having too many options can lead to decision paralysis. This is when we're so overwhelmed by the choices available that we're unable to make a decision at all. So instead of choosing one of the 50 pasta sauces, you might end up leaving the supermarket without any. Schwartz's findings have profound implications for our lives. They suggest that while our society's emphasis on freedom of choice is well-intentioned, it might also be contributing to our stress and dissatisfaction. Perhaps instead of constantly seeking more, we should learn to appreciate what we already have. So, more choices don't always mean more happiness. Quite a paradox, isn't it? Next up, the paradox of success. A curious contradiction that challenges our conventional ideas about achievement. Let's dive into this intriguing concept. The paradox of success suggests that our biggest triumphs can potentially lead to our greatest downfalls. It may sound counterintuitive, but as we unravel the layers, it will start to make sense. This paradox was first identified by watching the rise and fall of numerous successful individuals and companies. On the surface, success would seem like a straightforward journey, where one achievement leads to another. However, the reality is far more complex. Success can sometimes create a false sense of invincibility, leading us to take reckless decisions or to overlook potential threats. It can make us complacent, 
and we may stop striving for improvement, thinking we've reached the pinnacle. This is when the paradox of success comes into play. Take the example of a successful entrepreneur. Their first venture might have been a roaring success, leading to wealth and recognition. However, this could set them up for failure in their next venture, if they become overconfident and ignore potential risks, or if they assume that what worked once will work again. Similarly, a successful artist might produce a masterpiece that is highly acclaimed. Yet, this success could become their downfall if they try to replicate the same success, limiting their creativity and the diversity of their work. Success can also lead to increased expectations and pressure, both from ourselves and others. This burden can become overwhelming and lead to burnout, another manifestation of the paradox of success. So what can we do about it? The key lies in understanding that success isn't a destination, but a journey. It's about continuously learning, growing and adapting. It's about being aware of this paradox and ensuring that our achievements don't blind us to potential pitfalls or stop us from pushing our boundaries. Success then, isn't always a guaranteed path to more success. A startling paradox indeed. Finally, let's explore the paradox of happiness, a contradiction that might just change the way you think about joy. This paradox presents a peculiar irony. The more we chase happiness, the more it tends to elude us. It's like trying to catch a butterfly. The harder you try, the more it seems to flutter away. This paradox was first observed by psychologists who noticed a curious pattern. People who prioritized happiness above all else often reported feeling less happy, while those who focused on other aspects of life found happiness more frequently. It's as if the act of pursuing happiness directly causes it to slip through our fingers. But why is this so? Well, the answer lies in our understanding of what happiness is. We often mistake happiness for a destination, a final point to reach. But in reality, happiness is a journey, not a destination. It's found in the small moments of joy, the simple pleasures of life. When we try to chase it, we're essentially trying to capture these fleeting moments and hold on to them, which is simply impossible. Moreover, the chase for happiness often comes with a set of unrealistic expectations. We envision a state of perpetual bliss, free from all worries and troubles. But life, as we all know, is not free of challenges. These unrealistic expectations can lead to disappointment, further pushing happiness away. So, how can we avoid this paradox? Well, it's about shifting our focus. Instead of chasing happiness, we should aim to live a meaningful life, filled with experiences that enrich us. By doing this, we allow happiness to find us, rather than us trying to find it. The paradox of happiness teaches us that happiness isn't something we can attain by direct pursuit. It's a byproduct of living a life that's true to who we are. A life that's filled with love, connection, and purpose. So the pursuit of happiness isn't always the key to finding it. Now that's a paradox to ponder. So, we've explored the paradox of choice, the paradox of success, and the paradox of happiness. But what does it all mean? Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've uncovered. We began with the paradox of choice. The idea that, while freedom of choice is fundamental to human well-being, an abundance of options can lead to stress, dissatisfaction, and even paralysis. The more choices we have, the more we fear making the wrong one, and the less satisfied we are with the choices we make. Yet, it's not about avoiding choices but rather about understanding our own preferences and values, and making decisions based on those, rather than getting lost in endless possibilities. Next, we delved into the paradox of success. The drive to succeed is deeply ingrained in us, yet the more we achieve, the more we seem to want, often neglecting what truly matters in the pursuit of success. Striving for achievement can lead to stress, burnout, and a sense of emptiness, the paradox here isn't about shunning success, but redefining it on our own terms, recognizing that true success encompasses personal fulfillment, not just societal recognition or material gain. Finally, we examined the paradox of happiness. The pursuit of happiness is a universal human aspiration, however, the more we chase it, the more elusive it becomes, 
Happiness is often found not in the pursuit, but in the present moment, in appreciating what we have, and in meaningful connections with others. It's not about avoiding the pursuit of happiness, but realizing that happiness is a byproduct of living a meaningful and fulfilling life. So can these paradoxes be avoided? Perhaps not entirely, but by understanding them, we can navigate life more effectively. We can make more satisfying choices, pursue success in a way that brings personal fulfillment, and realize that happiness is often found in the journey, not just the destination. Life is full of paradoxes, but understanding them can help us navigate its winding paths with a little more wisdom. Until next time, keep pondering the paradoxes of life. Which paradox resonated with you the most? Have you experienced other paradoxes? Leave a comment below, and thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more.